Currently, commercial banks are on the spot for the high interest rates that have seen a rise in rate of defaulting by companies. Standard Chartered Bank, one of the largest banks, is dodged by massive non-performing loans and assets. A move to bail out companies does not seem to excite the bank, with the CEO, Haman Kasekende, choosing to express fear of a moral hazard. If I lend money to certain clients, actually that money gets paid back. And when they get paid back, I think everybody is happy, the deposit is happy, but also other borrowers are happy because that premium that will be added, that we talked about, will actually be lower. This view is shared by Chief Economist Africa Global Research at Standard Chartered Bank, Razia Khan, who says it could trigger and kickstart a poor repayment culture among borrowers who will always expect the government to come to their rescue. Things just never go as well as everyone hopes. Therefore, is it really a bad thing to be cautious with the overall amount of borrowing? And certainly there's a lot more that needs to be done in terms of revenue mobilization from the domestic economy. On the high interest rates, the bank accuses government of borrowing too much, which has increased public debt, thereby factoring into the percentage at which commercial banks can lend apart from inflation. This has been the trend across most commercial banks whose average interest rate is at 25 percent. Rates, government paper, uh, which is looked at as a, uh, uh, risk free, and then the loss, uh, the return or any impairments and, and their impact on the, on the pricing. The future of Uganda attracting more investments and improving on its current account remains uncertain if the amount of deposits is meager. This is partly blamed on the poor saving culture among Ugandans. It is only the discovery of oil that has shone a bright light on Uganda's prospects, although the size of the economy is not internationally attractive. But in terms of how much they can actually invest in Uganda, that's been relatively constrained by the small size of the economy and the smaller size of the issuance. If you've got a savings culture that's weak, and therefore you've got deposits concentrated in very few individuals, what they do is that they hold the whole system a ransom, they command a price for their deposits. And because banks have to pay them that high level of deposits, then the interest rates overall uh, go up.